grabbing some um, coconuts for the pigs. I just grab what I need. Yeah, the next trick of the tree over there and that'll be it. Taking the coconut to listen to for the liquid inside. Sounds like it's nice and fresh, like it's like water. Good. Sounds like it's flushing like slurry. Not good. And um, I can tell they're really good by off the bat, some I can't. Most they can. That's pretty much it. It's just a couple of coconuts behind there, and that's it. Take these coconuts, this will last the pigs two days. But um, they have run out of the. Because I've been feeding the pigs the coconuts that in the fence yard there, they're in. So I just go underneath that coconut tree, cut coconuts there, they all come to that. So that's all finished, so I've got to go to elsewhere. And lucky it's not too far away, just up the hill from home. So yeah, just uh, wheel it back down. There we go. Alright guys. This is what happens when I crack a coconut. You can see the pigs coming. Oh, I can call them and they come. I go! I can hear them coming already. Yeah. I go! Ah! I'm just taking that, eh? And what have you got in your mouth? Huh? You got some stuff, huh? Some stuff up. Hey?
chickens get in there also. Have a bit of a feed. Alright guys, so I'm going to chop, chop a few coconuts outside the fence and that's because the sheep love the coconut too, for some reason. <laughs> Alright. Here they come. Hey Rosie. See, this is dried, dried up coconut. One more. Oh no, I lost that one. Gotta go get it. Hey, Rosie, Pepper, move, move, girl. Mm. Huh? So there's a reason why you cut a coconut in threes. Cut it straight in half, you lose control of the knife, straight, cut straight through to your hand. Cut it in threes, it will just cut straight through and hit the bottom piece. What? Yeah, I nothing. There it is. She's the payment of the lot. And then it's the big male, he's famous after that. And then Pepper. Um, but all, um, Rosie wants his food, 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 all the time. Little cheeky one. But yeah, alright. Hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. Bye for now. And 
Let's see how the sheep eat the coconut. <laughs> Hopefully it's good for them. Can't see why it shouldn't. <laughs> Hey guys, just a little bit more of an update. I'm gonna have to separate the sheep from the pigs and then separate the pregnant pig from the other pigs. So that's another thing that I gotta do. I am going to put the sheep in the back part of this. So I put an electric fence just from up there to end of that grass over there behind to that massive tree over there so all in here then they can have this just for themselves for the sheep and then um, the pigs I'm gonna have to put the pregnant pig just in this pen by itself I might divide it and half it yeah I have to ha I divide it so I'm gonna ha divide it from here to there and just put the mother pig in here so she can stay in there and then organize that as an extra pen but yeah yeah I'm gonna have to do that um, hopefully the sheep don't eat my plantain they do they do they don't they don't I might have to just uh, fence that corner off yeah I'll do that so I have to put electric fence around it and I'll just put electric wire straight across the two fences that'll be fine so I just got to dig some posts at the back there and across there. Then they, they can clear all this up after that. So this will be all clear and they can enjoy that. I might have to put the fence on the other side of this so they don't eat this paw paws in the plantain. So I'll bring this fence behind these two and hook it up to here. That they can take out. I'll leave that one for them to eat. But yeah, those poor paws over there, they won't be, a, oh, they'll reach some, but they'll be all right in there. It's okay, it's not like we haven't got many poor paw trees, like right here. <laughs> uh, Why if we put a row of, um, just, Dug a little bit of a line and then threw in the seeds for marigolds. Yeah, it came out really well. The things that you sort of didn't really focus on to grow, they grow well for some reason. Spring onions over there doing really well. That can just uh, stay in there till next year. And they grow a little bit bigger. So in the summer they go down. In the winter they spring back up again. Cool. Alright guys. See ya. Alright guys, this is another thing that I've put up. It's a bit of a MacGyver thing. But this door, uh, see that string there? That bottle? Or a Mac door closer. <laughs> so it's tied to the, the door, going outside, up and over, and the bottle comes down there. So, open it up. and close so what I'll do I'll put some um, I'm gonna get a can cut a piece of can just put a bit of aluminium over that so it's a bit smoother and then it'll slide down really nice and close automatically really really well all right bit of a what do you call it MacGyver situation there <laughs>